Kia ora anō iti So I'm jumping on to do my first video for week 5 I'm running a little bit late this week Aroha mai So I'm coming to Kōrero about our Belief Changer Zoom session that we had on Sunday just gone And we had a beautiful Māori Indigenous woman come and speak to us um, Well established in her business And she actually did kahau last year so she was able to implement the tips and strategies that we're learning into her business. Um, most of you or some of you will know or have heard of her. And her name is Nicola. Nicola Tekiri. Uh, and she owns NTK Made Limited. That is her company. And of her company she has branched into Nicola. Which does the beautiful taonga, uh, beautiful kākahu. And she's also on a new venture with Top Tepu. Um, so if you want to check out that new venture, go onto her Instagram page for Top Tepu. Uh, so she came to speak to us about her journey into business, um, where she was, how she got there and um, where she's at now and looking into the future like with her new venture of Top Tepu. So she spoke to us um, about how she... Uh, returned from Australia. She had a strong calling to return from Australia. Uh, at that time she was a single mum and she came back and attended Toi Haukura. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> she spoke to us about how she's always been a tutu um, and a creative. So she was able to implement that and she began making things just by hand. Uh, and she was very, very shy. So to start with, she couldn't even tell people that um, her earrings were hers. She would say, you know, my friend made it. So through moving back to New Zealand and attending Toi Haukura, being a single mum, uh, she was rebuilding herself, um, showing up for her, her kōtero, uh, being creative and, I guess, um, stepping into a new zone of owning your business and things. Um, and she did it with the help of Fano and friends. Um, you know, don't be shy for asking for help. She reached out for help, and sometimes we can feel like asking for help. We can be a hoha. Um, you know, everyone's busy, but if you don't ask, you don't know. So that was one one piece of cordial that I took from her. Also, she looked at lots of funding options to help keep her off the ground and she applied for them all she said it was really important to read the criteria and what parts um, you had to do to get their funding so it was really um, good to hear her give us some some options about funding and how to get um, how to apply for funding I guess she also spoke to us about how she would attend conferences or wānanga about businesses, she'd do it all. If it was free, she was there. So, pretty amazing uh, that she put herself out there, although from being shy, to put herself out there and just went ahead and got it all. Um, yeah, she spoke about how kahau really helped her and she was able to implement um, the strategies into her business, like um, kind of a long line. Uh, so she would be running her business as well as learning these tips so she'd imp implement them at the same time which was really get great for her and one of the biggest takeaways that she took was actually acknowledging and understanding the data so um, by understanding her data she was able to target her audience better um, and create lasting relationships uh, with her customers, her true fans uh, she spoke to us about how with her e-commerce she has lots of input from um, apps that help to just keep things ticking over um, and she also talked a little bit about her shipping options. Um, she spoke a lot about you know uh, overcoming self-doubting beliefs um, which I think all of us face um, and especially in a journey like this when you're stepping to it stepping into a zone where you don't know what you're doing around every corner is a new obstacle um, it can be hard to kind of re revert back to not doing it because that's your comfortable space so stepping out of that getting uncomfortable learning something new um, and 
she said about how having things that ground you so for her it was nature water music for me um especially for mindset mind is music if i'm in a productive mood i need not need but i like to have music that like gets me going lifts my mood um and also being out being out in nature oh and being by the sea i love the sand i love the sea um just something about watching the waves but yeah uh, and then she also spoke to us about how it's important to put what we're learning into action. So implementation is big. Um, walking the talk is also big. And keeping true to who you are. Because being you is your superpower. Uh, and then her last corridor that I want to finish this video was that no one is going to make it happen for you. Only you can make it happen for you. And this resonates with me deeply um because you know life hasn't been handed to me on a plate i've had to work hard to get to where i am um and anything i've wanted um wanted bad i've managed to achieve it because you know i put in the effort but um yeah so she was really inspiring especially being a maori indigenous woman in business who's done kahal, so she understands where we're at. Um, and it was really awesome to hear her quote it all. Alongside all the rest of the belief changes, I, but I think something about her being done the business, being Māori and being a female, just um, kind of uplifts lifts myself a bit more. But yeah. Ka kite, kia pai tira.